Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. Today on Positively Kelly, I have a couple of short stories for you to ponder, or we might call them fables, because they have a message or a moral to them. Now, the first one could have happened. The second, not so much, but again, there is a moral to both. Okay. The first one talks about a man who found a cocoon of a butterfly. It was early spring, and the man watched the butterfly trying to make its transformation and struggling to force its body through that tiny little hole. Now, the butterfly seemed to stop its struggle at one point as if it had given up. That is when the man decided to step in and save the butterfly. So... He took a pair of scissors, he snipped off the remaining bit of the cocoon, and the butterfly quickly emerged, but its body wasn't beautiful and strong like the one in the, in the photo here. Instead, it was swollen, the body was swollen, and the wings were small and shriveled. He was confused, but hoped that the butterfly would soon gain strength enough to fly. Now, despite the kind heart of the man, he didn't understand that the restricting cocoon and the struggle needed by the butterfly to get itself through the small opening were God's way of forcing fluid from the body of the butterfly into the wings. Now, without this process, the butterfly will never be able to fly. So you see, the moral of this story is our struggles in life develop us. They strengthen us. Without these struggles, we would never grow or get stronger. It's important for us to face challenges in order to become more resilient. Now, while nobody likes to struggle, if we look at it as a tool that will help us and give us the courage to face the difficulties, that um, it will give us the opportunity to take things a little bit easier. I feel there are so many struggling right now, actually. We all know this, and we should definitely pray for each other through this time of uncertainty. Now, the next story is about a couple of frogs traveling through the woods. Okay, this couldn't have happened, but there is a good moral to this one. Now, two frogs fell into a deep pit. That's when the other frogs crowded around the pit and saw how deep it was. They told the, t the frogs in the pit, just give up. There's no way that you're ever going to get out of here. However, the two frogs kept jumping and jumping and tried to get out despite what they were being told. This continued for a while. The discouragement of the frogs at the top of the pit just kept coming until finally one of the frogs, he gave up and he fell to his death. Now the other frog though, he kept trying and he kept trying harder and jumping harder until finally he was out. When he reached the top, the crowd of frogs at the top said, did you not hear us? We told you to give up. That's when the triumphant frog said, I'm deaf. I thought you were cheering me on the whole time and encouraging me. All right, there's a few, few problems with this story, but here is the moral. Now, you should never give up. Even when others are discouraging us, the naysayers, forget about all that. It's difficult to, enough. We don't need to fall into oppression by other people's words. Don't listen to negativity. It's not helpful. It's never good advice, no matter who it's coming from. Remember, we can get acclimated to any situation in life, and we want to make sure that we don't acclimate to situations that are not good for us. Pay attention to the words you use. Make sure that you're lifting others up and not discouraging them. It really is good medicine. And pay attention to the words you hear. You can choose what you want to believe about your situation or your circumstance. You can actually change your situation if you believe you can. We all deserve love and respect and, that tr and a right treatment because we're all children of God and He loves every single one of us and he wants us to love each other and treat each other with love and respect and kindness as well. And that is my Positively Kelly for today. Jeremy, are you coming in? I think so. I don't know. Okay. I've not heard of time cue, so I don't know. I, I I'll be either. honest with you, Kelly. Okay, I don't here know. you are. <laughs> did you hear the frog story? I did. And I'm sure that you, like me, have heard discouraging words from other people that have um, said just, you know, no, you don't need to do that. You, you're really not that good at that. Just, uh, just move on and try something else. I'll tell you, Kelly, you and me are, are in, mm -hmm. in situations that are similar being on TV mm -hmm. and a lot of people at home. I mean, I've just mm -hmm. received a few this week. Kelly gets them. And people like to discourage you. And I think a lot of that has to do with the way they're feeling inside. Absolutely. That they have to project that to other people. Yeah. 
And as much as we love our viewers and, yeah. you know, we have our own lives. We live them. Right. They don't really know us intimately, but they feel like they do. And we love that. We do. But it's very easy to get behind a keyboard and also discourage people yeah. like, the, like the frogs. Yeah, it is. I think sometimes those kinds of folks need an outlet for that. But I totally have come to realize that it, it means it, it reflects nothing on who I am. It totally reflects what they're going through. And I feel sorry for those people. And we're supposed to pray for people like that that are having problems uh, with their own self-esteem or that sort of thing. Because because bullies are those kinds of people yeah. that like to bring others down. You know, you never can feel better about yourself by bringing someone else down. It's so true. No, it it's really so doesn't true. work that way. I mean, and you know, people keep trying it. It just, it, it doesn't work. And we should challenge our viewers and, and our viewers' friends and, you know, yeah. almost pass it on like a telephone game that during this time, instead of going on social media and criticizing somebody, yeah. let's send them a positive note. Let's make them feel good about themselves because it's very easy yeah. to get frustrated. I understand. You're trapped yeah. at home. You're with the yeah. kids. It's loud. It's exhausting. And you feel frustrated and you need to vent. Yeah. Well, do the opposite. Get online. If you're going to leave a comment, leave a positive one. What, That's I, all would, I, what I would suggest is to, to get into a book that helps you uh, realize what a, an incredible person you are and can be mm -hmm. and <clears throat> kind of work on yourself. But we also get positive messages just out of the blue. And those go a long way, too. And for all of you that do that, we really appreciate that. And we think you guys are amazing. So We thank do. You for we watching. love you so much. We do. Yeah. All right. We'll be back right after this. And we do love our viewers. Yeah, we do. Yes, because you guys are very positive. Yeah. Ribbit. We have the proof. Ribbit. <laughs> Ribbit. Ribbit. <laughs>